Um, for anybody who is uh, familiar with the period uh, and is interested, Liu Bei already has uh, Zhuge Liang. Uh, he got him about four years ago now, about 204 or 206 rather. What the hell? She's returning. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me down. Chu Jie Meng signed a peace treaty with Lu Bu. Who the hell are you? I don't even know what faction that is. Direct versus distinguished. At a diplomatic gathering, you are discussing various matters with two dignitaries, one of whom is well kept and dignified, and the other who looks unwashed and dishevelled. When saying goodbye, the uncouth man offers his hand whilst his counterpart remains stoic. You must give some gesture to one of them. Okay. Direct. I believe we are direct. Yeah, so we can't... That's why we can't support distinguished, because we are direct. So... Is it my wife that's... Oh, my wife's the clean one. Gu Yong is the filthy one. Yeah, I'm ignoring that. I'm not picking sides against my wife. As ruler, you do not have to shake anything. You do not care for either of them. So ignored them both. It's not quite what I was going for, but sure. Off with her head! Did I play the Dynasty Warriors series? And if so, what's your favourite? I did... Uh, I played from Dynasty Warriors 2 uh, religiously to Dynasty Warriors 5, and then I think I played 6 and 7 a little bit. Um, my favourite game, which I think is what you're asking, um, is probably... I would have to say Dynasty Warriors 5, although 3 is a close second, because that was like the, the big one for me. I did play 2 before, um, but 3 obviously was the first one that was co-op. And, and that was like me and my best mate when we were that age. Just played it all the time. Cao Run and Shu Yo are friends because they've been in the same army for a while. Cao Ren and Cao Ong are also friends. Cao Ren just making friends wherever he goes. Clay Axe. Excellent. Yep, I know about that and about that. So do I have a spy free? No, I don't. Uh, Yang Zhou building. Uh, I don't want to because you're already in public order problems. Lu Jiang. Farm labourer camp. Oh right, we needed that building. That's I'm looking at this like, I know I needed this building change for something. We needed the farm labourer camp to get unlock the reform. Uh, food production from food sold on the markets. Uh, I don't really know. We lose six food. We earn double income. We've got plenty of food. Let's get uh, let's get a food trader. I apologise, guys, that this is not a particularly action-packed part of the stream. We are um, having to be very ginger with our diplomatic situation, thanks to the uh, Good Boy Coalition. <sighs> Juan Shu going to pay me to acknowledge his legitimacy, which I'm going to continue doing in the hope that it makes him and Liu Bei butt heads. I don't know if it will. A wiser man never offends another man's wife. That's pretty damn profound, my dog. Pretty damn profound indeed. A friend in need. What? You hear a tale of boundless courage in your ranks. One of your generals rides bravely to the aid of his friend who is moments away from death's cold touch. Doing what? In a bar. Weathering many blows to defend their comrade. In the aftermath, you take stock of what you have heard and seen. Shu Yo has been wounded, but it would seem that their relation between Shu Yo and Cao Run has deepened, because Cao Run, I imagine, is the one that was doing the rescuing. It's not clear, but I'm going to assume so. 
Traits gained. Shuyo has gained the lame trait. Oh. Lame, Shuyo. Yeah, no, I've seen that. Still attempting to infiltrate. And Hanji is available to recruit. Don't care. Uh, reform time. So we want the transverse bulkheads. Why do we want transverse bulkheads, people? Because we want to upgrade Dong Hai's public fishing jetties eventually to a fishing fleet wharf for the extra five prestige. But we needed transverse bulkheads to do it. So now we can get a communal fishing Ugh, communal fishing pier. Sorry. I have been streaming for 12 and a half hours, so I'm tripping over myself a little bit now. Uh, we've also got a lot of credibility. So. Oh, Sai Mao's all the way over there now. Wow, that's a hell of a migration. And he somehow managed to retain that piece of land. He didn't always. It, that's gone back and forth because he didn't have that before. Ginger. Who's that? Oh, I appreciate that, Mad Doc, so much. Uh, we are going to be doing lots of Three Kingdoms streams. Uh, we're doing one tomorrow with Jung Jang. Uh, Saturday, I'm taking a day off to play it with Sarah. But then we'll be playing more Cao Cao on Sunday, more Cao Cao on Monday, uh, Jung Jiang on Wednesday, and then Cao Cao on Friday next week. So, yeah, there's lots of Three Kingdoms to come. Um, you know, Die Three Kingdoms Comes. I'm sure that's in a in a prayer somewhere. Uh, right. Yeah, we're just going to keep chugging along for a little bit. Kind of waiting for the stalemate to break. Preferably in my favor. No, I'm not being your vassal, Kong Rong. Like I'm going to give up the last bastion of freedom in the north of China. Uh, oh, hello. Ah, oh, yes, Liu Dai's mission. Good. Uh, spies, still attempting to infiltrate. Mission success. Shu Yo, ready for duty. Oh, because he was wounded. Oh, do I have to actually put him back in? No, he's, he's recovered. Okay. That's the first time I've had somebody wounded. Sort of. I had Cao Cao and Xia Dun wounded earlier, but uh, their army was wiped out at the same time. By the time I'd reformed their army, they were not wounded anymore. Um, Chun and Guang Ling have both built what they were building. Chun can improve its communal workshops for more income. Don't see a downside. Oh, hang on. We can go over there for less corruption and some income. Equal income. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. We're going to go for the currency inspector's office in Chun, because Chun is our capital, so it makes sense that the mint would be there. Three kingdoms come, thy will be done, mad dog. Exactly. There you go. I knew it was part of a prayer. <laughs> if that's not a prayer, it is now. Uh, yes, what else have we got? Guang Ling. Oh, you have an extra... Oh, of course, because we just upgraded the city. Okay, so let's find something to put in here. We've currently got a merchant registry office and a lodge. It has a trade port and farmland. So this is going to be a commercial hub. It has to be. We've already got that. We've already got that. Well, surely it makes sense to get labor then, because it makes construction for market and learning buildings cheaper. So let's get that on the on the rise. Spy recruited. Chi Guan P has been recruited by Liu Biao. Oh, okay, that's a surprise. Faction council. Uh, are you going to tell me to grow a city again, Liu Dai? Yes, you are for the third time. I feel like he's got a bit of an agenda. 
Greeny94, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. Twelve and a half hours of Three Kingdoms so far, guys. And I can feel my body beginning to flag, if I'm honest. But uh, I am still willing. I love this game. This game is amazing. Um, Jung Jiang signed a peace treaty with Lu Bu. The Nine Bestowments. Another faction is given the Nine Bestowments. Their path to emperorship is clearly set. Fucking Liu Bei. A loyal friend. A member of your family comes of age. There is much pride and joy at his capping ceremony, where his hair is coiled and his first cap is donned. Marking his rise to adulthood, your family are assisted by their honoured guest who now joins your kin in his endeavours. Who the hell is that? Who'd we just recruit? Ju Huan! How is he a member of our family? I mean, I'm not going to complain, it's Ju Huan, but... He's greedy, creative, and cordial. I don't think... You're, he's also... He's 53. He did not just come of age. Think not. That's interesting. How has that happened? Spy event. Still attempting to infiltrate. Ju Huan. What? No. What's happening? I thought I had Ju Huan. I do have... I have... Ju oh, I have Ju Han, not Ju Huan. Okay, that was my fault. Still, he's not related to me because that's not my name. <laughs> what? Okay, Ju Huan, Guan Hui Jen, He Ji, Wang Lei, Liu Shou, and Wang Xiong are all available to recruit. Uh, if we, whoops, if we look at who we've got kicking about, I'm sure, yeah, I was going to say we should have another spy slot available. So who have we got spies with? One with Liu Biao and one with Yuan Shu. I uh, really, really, really want, oh god, Lady Wu has formed the Duchy of Wu. There are three duchies I am so far behind. Oh my god. This is going to be a hard one to turn around, I think. Uh, if we look at Zhu Han, who is willing to spy for me. Greeding. Creative. Cordial. Is composure. And wisdom of the river. Alright, he's a bit on the naff side, but I think he's basically the only person that would be willing to spy. So we're going to try and send him to the Duchy of Shu Han. Liu Bei so far has been seeing through my uh, my plans. Did you miss anything interesting in the last 20 minutes, Ryan? Uh, nah, I don't think so. We're just plodding along, continuing to build buildings and trying to keep everybody happy. Gu Yong's not happy again. You're a real problem, Gu Yong. You know that. So much for being tolerant. How about being tolerant of the fact that I'm not made of money? Let's try that, shall we? He wants to be a senior advisor. I mean, we're going to have to give him it, aren't we? There you go. Stop whinging. Sack him. We could sack him, to be honest. <laughs> Lu Bu wants peace and will pay me three grand for it. Attitude is very negative. You know what? Sure. We'll make peace with you, Lu Bu. We don't have a problem with you. I might actually try and make friends with Lu Bu. Because... I don't really know what else we can do.
We're gonna need some allies. Boo boo. Oh yeah, with me. Faction succession. Yu Min Xiang has been succeeded by Run Jun. Okay. I don't even know who the first one is, let alone Run Jun. Juhan has been dispatched. Shao Dun has gained the trait Honest. He's getting traits out the wazoo now. He's dutiful, energetic, uncomplicated, fiery, honest, reckless, and one-eyed. Who are you friends with, Shao Dun? Uh, you're all sworn with both Cao Cao and Shao Yuan. You like Cao Ren, Shu Yu, Fan Zhou, and Liu Yao. Is he even still alive? If he is, he's floating around the pool because he's not served anybody since then. Hmm. I don't know. Ancillaries, we've gained Wu Zi. Military supplies for own army. Does anybody in our armies lack um, a follower, or a ancillary rather. Cao Run does. Cao Run, how would you like to hold Wu Zi? And you can read it if, as well if you want. Characters Su Shang, Yang Huai, Wang Hong, Wu Lan, and Zhong Li Hu. Exactly, Zhong Li Hu? I don't know who that guy is. Alright, we need to use some of this credibility. Ah, oh, who is the Duchy of Wu at war with? Uh, they're at war with Lu Bu, and they are trading with the Duchy of Qi and with me. Greeny shouting all out war. Uh, I mean, we'd probably die. Make him the head of your harem. Of course, that requires to him become a eunuch. That should curb his moaning. Mm, it might. I think I'd have a fair bit to moan about if somebody, uh, you know, employed me as a eunuch. Uh, I kind of want to throw the Duchy of Wu. She's second global strength. I'm guessing he's first. He is kind of want to throw the Duchy of Wu at Liu Biao. Because they've got a very narrow front. So as much as this lot would all want to help, they can't all... Like, the Duchy of Wu might make some progress, right? Or would I just be essentially giving them the bottom half of China? I want to win, Ryan. I don't want to die. China will be mine. As soon as this flipping holiday club breaks up. Ooh, Yuan Shu does not like Gongsun Zan. That's a good start, but he's Liu Bei's vassal. He's not greatly friends with the uh, Duchy of Qi with Kong Rong either. And in actual fact, likes me more than both of them. Hi, Yuan Shu. Um, no, I'm not offering subservience. So, uh, you, Yuan Shu, have you, uh, have you heard about this guy, Cao Cao? He's pretty cool, right? You, you think he's cool, right? Yeah, you think he's cool. Um. Uh, it weirds me out that you have to not click on somebody to see what their, like, relation with you is. Faction influence. Oh, wait, that's Liu Biao, idiot. 
No, but I was clicked on him, but I was looking at Yuen Shu. That's their attitude toward each towards each other. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. There we go. It's 113 towards me. The UBR actually likes me a little bit. A smidge. So if I then say to Yuen Shu, you know who really thinks you're an idiot, Yuen Shu? Kong Rong. Heard him talking about you. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Don't, don't, don't do anything with him. Especially not go to war. I mean, go to war with him, just don't go to war with him. You get it. He gets it, guys. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, enter. You can also back Wu. I could. You want to buy a clay axe? For about a thousand gold. You know what? I'm not giving you anything, Liu Bei. Kill Huang Zhu and try to expand and get Marquee. That might be a good idea, Greeny. I'm going to look at that when this end turn sequence ends. I'm worried about who would jump in if I attacked him, but well, let's have a look at it. Wavering spy loyalty. Ju Han! I told you not to get sucked in by the benevolence! <sighs> right, you know what? You! Why can't I recall him? I'm sure I've seen the recall button before. I don't want to disown him, he'll stay. Ugh. The you die has gained the trait understanding. We've gained a wooden fish. I know which one I'd rather gain. Han Sen is available to recruit. Ju Han has been promoted to general in Duchy of Shu Han. Freely, that's all it took. They made you a general, and you're like, oh, I came here as a spy, but I've changed my mind now. How am I meant to stop him from doing that? Is there a way I can stop him from doing that? Or is he just going to defect? Pentism! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse. Uh, we were going to check on Huang Zhu, weren't we? Pissed off now, Zhu Huan. Zhu Han, even. Why are you doing that? Huang Zhu, you have one friend. And it's the one man in China that nobody wants to be friends with. However, I'm not at war with him. Guess I will be if I attack you. But everybody else is at war with him, so I guess that's fine. Wait, Huang Zhu, oh yes, Huang Zhu hates me. Oh, there's an army of Yuan Shu there now, though. They're going to end up winning. Alright, tell you what. I'm not going to declare war on him yet, because we're not on his border anyway. We're going to go into a march stance. And start beelining for Huang Zhu with both armies I guess here we go nothing ventured nothing gained Ryan to right we are going to venture and gain some stuff. I 
Oh, there's that wooden fish that we just got, which is apparently worth a grand. Sure. Oh, I don't seem to use as many ancillaries as the uh, as the AI does. They're constantly buying them off me, and I'm just like, okay, like some kind of junk trader. Like I live on Tatooine or Jakku or something. Just like, sure, whatever. You just take the junk, leave the money. Liu Biao kicked the Duchy of Shu Han from their coalition. <gasps> Benevolent boys out. Shu uh, Xie, God, Shu Xie, has been succeeded by Shu Hui. Oh, more assassins! Oh God, Gu Yong, what a shock! Gu Yong and Ji Ju Ye, who we've had problems with forever, constantly whinging. I mean, we're going to get Reign of Terror either way. Okay, so it lasts for less if you only kill the ringleader. I'm definitely killing Gu Yong. Go away, Gu Yong. You ordered the execution of the ringleader to dissuade the other conspirators from pursuing further intrigues. Yeah, just count yourself lucky because the last two people that tried that, I killed them both. This general has been executed. He deserved it. Okay. Oh, Liu Bei's out. What does that mean? How is this going to go? I mean, he's still got Gongsun Zan as a vassal. He's still trading with the Duchy of Qi and Gongsun Zan and Jung Jiang. Uh, everyone's going for Huang Zhu, Greeny. I think you're right. I don't think I'm going to win that race either. <laughs> well, Huang Zhu's already lost his first chunk. He's only got one other chunk of land. Liu Bei is the most powerful faction. But now that he's... Oh, God. Wait. Oh, I don't have enough credibility. Now that he's not in the coalition, I bet I can proxy war him into fighting one of them. Because I couldn't do that before. Uh, I feel like we're not going to win the race to Jiangsha. Jesus Christ. Everyone's running for it. The Duchy of Qi... Yuan Shu, there's probably people coming from that side, <laughs> and we're like way back here. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's just, let's continue the, uh, the attempt. I doubt we're going to get there, but we'll try. Yeah, I'm going to, Greeny, I'm going to try and manipulate Liu Bei to start a proxy war, but I need enough credibility. It takes 75 credibility to do that, and I have 52, so. <laughs> Stand by to repel borders from the stern. Oh, dear. Hmm, 50% food from fishing. That might not be terrible. I mean, we've got more than enough food, though. Aha! Government tool distribution. Satisfaction for champions. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, something is going on with these characters. Gongsun, oh god, why is everybody so angry? Everyone is angry. <sighs> Lacks a purpose. Sway Juanjie. Well, I did try to send you to spy on someone, but you were so bad at it that you came back. So whose fault is it that you don't have a purpose, Sway Juanjie? She's 50 years old. I feel like... 
she's rank four. I feel like we'd be better off just getting rid of her. Does she have any cool stuff? Not really. Common instructor's leather, common gen, common white horse. You know what? We're just going to fire her. You! Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Dismiss. Go away. I'm tired of you. You annoy me. Right, Gong Sun Du. Uh, to be fair, you are a rank 5 and a former faction leader, so maybe you should be a higher rank. We'll make you general of the rear. Ji Ju Ye. One of the two conspirators, the other one that's still alive. Maybe you shouldn't be telling me that you uh, lack a purpose, mate. Before I find a purpose for you on the end of a spear. Where's his kit? No, it's a common spear, common soldier's leather, common brown horse. Alright, I'm not going to get rid of him just yet, but he's pretty much hovering in the doorway now. And then buildings. Chun. We could upgrade Chun again. Which would cost us yet more food. But would give us another building slot. So screw it. We're going to do it. Uh, Guangling. Drifter workforce camp. Mm, no. Um, we do own all of Guangling though. Could we take another four food hit? Yeah, I think we can. Airy! How you doing, bud? Welcome to the stream. Let's end that turn. All right. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Liu Bei's position is very tenuous. But uh, we still need to make sure we strike at the right time. I'm great, mate. Like, today has been phenomenal. First of all, Total War Three Kingdoms actually released, which I was terrified that it wouldn't. Uh, I got it working, and it runs pretty much fine. Uh, I'm not running it on the best graphics, but I'm running it, which is amazing. Then Tom Hawkins from CA decided to crash my stream this morning, which was more than enough of a surprise for me. Um, but then uh, Tom and Wheels decided to send me uh, a whole army of people. It is good. Who are you playing as, Eri? Yuen Shu has persuaded Tsai Mao to attack Huang Zhu. <laughs> Poor Huang Zhu. <laughs> Han Sui left the coalition of Su Jie Meng. Liu Jiang has finally appeared, signing a peace treaty with Tsai Mao. The search for talent. You sent word far and wide that you are seeking talented people. I'm going to skip it because you've probably all heard it a billion times already now. Sha Ho Ba! Hooray! We got Sha Ho Ba! He's a level one, but still. It's Shahoba. Check it out. I love it. Um, he would apparently spy for me if I wanted him to, but uh, no. Right. I'm going to try and get Shu Miao into the Duchy of Shu Han. Even though I've already got Ju Han in there. Maybe it's because his name's only one letter sh different from Shu Han. Maybe that's why he likes them so much. Maybe he got really confused and thought they named the faction after him. And he's like, oh, I'm not that important, but sure, I'll stay. Emperor Penguin, destroy Liu Biao. Um, I'm not going to do that just yet, because uh, right now, uh, 
all of these dudes were in a massive coalition of peace and harmony and horrible, sickening goodness. But the Duchy of Shu Han has been kicked out by Liu Biao. So I'm waiting for them to, like, jump on Liu Bei and then I'm going to jump on him as well. Been, c been playing Kokoa. Eri. <laughs> tao Tao. Yeah. <laughs> Coco. Been playing Coco. It's amazing. Chocolate everywhere. Lady Bien has gained a rank. Excellent. Uh, hello, Lady Bien. Um, you are an administrator, so do any of these help you with that? Not really. Well, there we go. We'll get that. Uh, red thoroughbred. Okay. You know what? We're gonna. I don't look at ancillaries hardly enough, so we're gonna th go through the top guys in the um, in the faction and make sure that they've all got stuff. Tao Tao's fine. Lady Bien is definitely not fine. I don't know if that would. Uh, it's slightly slower. It's heavier. Gives her a more chance of evading capture after a battle. We'll come back to her. Oh wait, did Sao Run doesn't have a good horse? Are you kidding? He just has a random grey horse. Uh, well, here you go, Sao Run. Have a uh, red thoroughbred instead. Followers. No, none of those help her. Okay, doesn't look like any of the followers are particularly applicable. Accessories, we've got loads. Uh, Rights of Joe, Administered Commanderate. You definitely need that, Lady Bien. Tao Tao's fine. Sauron's fine. Sao Ang's got a little toy man. Xiao Yuan's got a stone monkey. Xiao Dun's got a clay ox. Everybody's just got random stuff. It's like they fell through a trinket shop. Alright, that'll do. Um, Yo Tu, Lu Zhao, Dong Shi, Han Ji. Dong Shi? He looks like he's got custom art as well. He does have custom art. Who the hell are you? Used to fight for Shu Jie Meng. Who the hell is Shu? She's got a square banner, so she took over one of the major factions. My guess is it's either Han Sui or Ma Tung, but I don't know the flag. Um, I'm waiting, Emperor Penguin. I'm Yes, uh, it is Sao Sao's thing, but I'm saving it up so that I can get Liu Bei to call a proxy war against one of the members of the coalition, so they'll all jump on him. Has Tao Pi come of age yet, Green It? Yes, he has. He's there. Uh, so has Tao Ong, who is there, and I believe, yeah, Tao Shun as well. So three of Tao Tao's sons, although Tao Shun's the first that was, like, auto-generated... And then we've got Cao, uh, Cao, Cao Jun, uh, who will be in three years, and Cao Wei, who is 13, Cao Gang, who is six. So he's got, uh, yeah, he's got a fair supply of sons, has old Cao Cao. Uh, oh, I want, I kind of want to get Dong Shi, actually. A legendary vanguard and a hunter. He's 36 as well. His traits are trustworthy, direct, and understanding. You know what? You're in, Dongxi. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the land of Tao Tao. Magical land where everybody hates Liu Bei. Because he's Liu Bei. All right, yeah, we can move the armies. I don't know if there's really any point trying to win this race, but still. Uh, 
There's no point in Tao Run trying to win this flipping race. He's slow as hell. Come on, Tao Run. Run! It's literally your name. Uh, Dong Hai. Fishing Court. Five extra prestige. Yes, because we're that desperate for prestige that we're trying to get it from buildings. Oh, God, we're still so far off. You ran through a souvenir shop and came out with all manner of trinkets. Exactly, my dog. All overpriced and point fairly pointless. Yep. Dong Shi died 217. Courtesy name Yuan Shi was a military general serving under the warlords Sun Tzu and Sun Xuan. Of course he is. That's where I know him from. Yeah, it's Dong Shi. He historically was one of uh, the Wu officers. Well, now he's mine. Uh... Kong Rong, ever the collector of pointless crap, wants to pay 1200 for a clay axe. Sure, why not? Swear that man runs an antique shop. Thank you, honey. That's definitely the guy. Tai Mao declared war on Shu Jia Meng. Cao Ang gained the humble trait, and Shu Yu gained bright. Excellent. Not the terrible Joel Legerton Will Smith film that should have been amazing, but was actually terrible. Not that bright. Different bright. Um, what is this telling me? It is telling me that Dong Shi is unhappy. Oh, well. What rank are you, Dongshi? You're a senior officer. A man of your talent should surely be at least a patrol commander. Yeah, there you go. That made him happy. You! You're not getting promoted. You, you want to know why? Because you tried to kill me. That's why. No. And you're a poacher. You're not anything special. Hate that man. Right, Tao Tao, let's go! Beeline! Oh, we'd be trespassing. Hold up. I mean, it's not trespassing if we're at war with him. Huang Zhu. Negotiate. We are hereby formally no notifying you that we will be participating in the race for your capital. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Huang Ju requests military support against Tao Tao. I am not going to help you fight Tao Tao. I am Tao Tao. We are rivals with Huang Zhu. Oh, I'm so scared. So scared of being rivals with Huang Zhu. My god, Tao Ren, why are you so slow? Oh, hello. So he has Sui Yuan, Sui Yuan Jin, and Mao Ji with him. Interesting. We probably shouldn't have force marched in there. <laughs> uh oh. Um, cities. Yangzhou, uh, you are losing public order. Which we really could do with that not happening. Um, I wonder if we could put somebody on assignment that would help with that, actually. Is there a raise public order? P public order? Public order? Anyone? Public order? Come on. Ah! Oh, it costs food, but Liu Dai can do it. Liu Dai, please go and make those people like me. Thank you. Uh, you Lu Jiang. Uh, we don't really need to improve that any further, I don't think. It doesn't get us prestige, so I'm not bothered. Alright, let's see if we get attacked here. 
It's a long Kong Kong Ron Con. It is. He might make a good spy or scout, my dog, but so far all he's done is make a good whiny bitch. Like, I can't even remember when I employed him, but all he's done since I did was be like, I deserve a better position. It's like, who are you and why should I care? Duchy of Shu Han signed a peace treaty with Liu Bu. There's a lot of diplomacy going on. I feel like Liu Bei, uh, yeah, Liu Bei's gone to war with someone. Gongsun Zan requested their master, Duchy of Shu Han, to go to war. Consequential deals. War between Gongsun Zan and the Duchy of Shu Han against the Empire, uh, the Han Empire and the Duchy of Qi. Liu Bu requested Huang, Zong, uh, Huang Zhu to join their war against Liu Biao. Liu Biao requested Tsai Mao to attack Lu Bu. Liu Biao requested the Duchy of Qi to join the war against Lu Bu. Then Liu Biao signed peace with Lu Bu. Then Tsai Mao requested Yuan Shu to join the war against Shu Jie Meng. Tsai Mao requested Liu Biao to join the same war. My spy is doing some stuff. And Gong Sun Du and Cao Pi are living in harmony. People are drawn together for many reasons. The love of art, the joy of war, or, as in this case, a shared delight in cruelty. They spend much time together discussing and, in some cases, enacting their twisted plots. You cannot condone their barbarism, but you're happy they have a friend in each other, you suppose. Yeah, I'm not really sure I'm happy with Gong Sun Du leading my heir down a path of cruelty. Mi Cha, Fan Wei Huang and Lang Yu are available to recruit. I don't care. All right, so we need to assess the diplomatic situation here. Sun Ren is Sun Shang Shang, right? Yes, Greeny, she is, yes. Um, I got very confused when they released the ambush trailer, like, last year, and it was Sun Chuan and Sun Ren, and I'm like, who the hell is Sun Ren? Apparently, Sun Ren is a name that she's rarely known by, but nobody really knows what her name actually was, so yes, she is Sun Shang Shang but um, by a different name. It is indeed kicking off F Emperor Penguin. But we need to be careful that we uh, strike at the correct time. So Liu Bei is now at war with Kong Rong and the Han Empire. The problem is the Han are going to be c irrelevant because they're miles away. So he's at war with Kong Rong, Kong Rong but also so is Gong Sun Zan. So if Kong Rong does not call in Yuan Shu and Liu Biao, then he's in deep crap. And I'm not going to jump on until he calls them in, because otherwise I'll die as well. But if he does call them in, then things will be different. Things will be different. Right. Are we going to win this race? I actually think we could. Switch Cao Cao to normal move. In fact, we shall encamp Cao Cao because it's autumn. Which means it's going to be winter very soon. And for that reason, we will bring Cao Run to the border but not across it. So that he's still in friendly territory at the start of winter. We have an officer pop up. Oh, Ji Ju Ye again. You, you are so close to just being kicked out, mate. I should have chopped your head off. Uh, Young Joe. Uh, I don't think I want to grow that just yet because I want to see how the other city builds affect my food first. So, winter of 212 coming up. Cry havoc and unleash the dogs of war. Exactly, mad dog. Pretty much where my uh, name comes from. That and the film Fury, uh, where Brad Pitt's character was often called, well, was sometimes called War Daddy. Um, and the long story, or the short version of the long story, is I used to run a military guild, a roleplay guild on World of Warcraft. I had a character who I wanted to have a war name and I just watched Fury but I didn't want to call it War Daddy because that felt a bit weird. 
So uh, I decided on War Dog because of the Julius Caesar quote. Cry havoc and unleash the dogs of war. That should always be said with excessive overdramatic expression in a classic Shakespearean actor style. I mean, um, I can't really do it, but I, I give it a go. Release these idiots from service. They do not understand the empire you are creating. Emperor Penguin. I feel like that is some sound advice. I don't know where the plural idiots comes from, but definitely uh, due... Uh, Jiju year. Did I answer your last message, Greeny? What was your last message? Oh, I did, yeah. Sunren is Sun Xiang Zhang. Um, basically, nobody knows for, for, a, for true fact what her real name was. She just was Sun Jen's daughter. So sometimes she's apparently called Sun Ren, and sometimes she's called Sun Shang Shang. Your other <laughs> screen name is Cave Dog. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Cave Dog. Duchy of Qi requested Liu Biao to join their war. And Liu Biao asked them to join his war in return. We've pleased Liu Dai. All right. Lady Bien has gained philanthropic. There's a lot of people gaining philanthropic. Excellent. Right. Oh, Huang Zhu's come out and made a winter encampment. Hello, Huang Zhu. Right, let's move Cao Ren up to uh, Cao Cao. And then we'll encamp, because it's winter and I'm not going to be fighting. Oh, we seem to be the first here. We could get Jiangxia. Uh, Guang Ling, I think, has bit... Why have you got... Oh, population. Oh, god damn it. That's what I did with uh, Yang Zhou as well. I suppose, though, if I get a Confucian temple or a Confucian shrine, that will prevent the problem. In Yangzhou, you're not getting upgraded. Absolutely not. Lu Jiang, farm labourer camp. Um, extra food production, less income, or... No, we'll go for the Workforce Distribution Office. And then Jian Yu, Fish Trader. What? Why did I go that way? 100 income from commerce plus 4 food, plus 3 food and plus 10 income from commerce. Spice Trading Port. Right, where is this? This is in Jian Yu, which is... Oh, it's the one we took off Liu Yao. You know what? Let's... Let's wait until Chun finishes its... Uh, what, its city upgrade, because that's going to affect the food, and then we'll maybe swap it over. Right, that means... End the turn. Oh, you can cry Dracaris, Viceroy. I could, but I don't think there's any dragons here to listen. You wonder if there's an event where they arrange the marriage of Liu Bei and Sun Ren. There could be. Um, I haven't seen it, and she's married to Shao Dun now, so it'd be kind of hard for Liu Bei to grab her now, but... Double stack him before he musters. Yeah, I will, but in the spring. <laughs> uh, vassalage. No. Go away, Liu Bei. You're about to die, mate. You really think you've got any bargaining power to be like, uh, you should submit to me because I am benevolent. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me uh, today. It's been uh, an amazing day. I really, really didn't expect this day to go the way it has, and I appreciate everybody who has... Uh... Okay, Huang Zhu decided to fight Yuan Shu instead. It's an interesting move, Huang Zhu. Uh, I didn't expect this to go the way it has, and I really appreciate everybody that's... Especially those of you that have hung around after the raid from Tom and Wheels, because... You are spoiled for choice with Three Kingdom streamers today. I know that, and I really appreciate that you have 
selected to stay with me. Liu, Bi Liu Biao has died, and Liu Kong has inherited his faction. Uh, and convinced Tsai Mao to attack Gong Sun Zan and Liu Bei. Xu Jie Meng has signed a peace treaty with Huang Zhu. I suppose somebody needs to be at peace with him. Uh, Xia Hao Yuan and Cao Ang are um, forming a relationship. Even though they're in two separate armies, but they're in the same province. That's really cool. I didn't realize that could happen. So because they're in the same place, even though they're in different armies, it it's realized that they are essentially serving in the same like theater really Hao Quan and uh, Chi Zhou you guys are just like trying to strategize your way out of this we've gained the methods of the Suma military supplies for own army and plus 8 satisfaction um, somebody could probably use that. What are you... What do you have? Oh, yeah, right. How is he in flipping... He's in Cao Run's army with plus 10 campaign movement range from the Book of the Mountains and Seas. And Cao Ren's apparently slow as hell. Um... Let's give you the methods of the Suma. The Marshal's Art of War contains everything a general needs to know or reference. And now it belongs to you, Shu Yo. The strategizing twins. Are you referring to these two clowns? Okay, Guan Hui Jian, Chen Li, Liu Min, Yin Li Wei, and Zhu Gong. Nobody special. We're down to six food now. Spy recruited, Shu Miao, Duchy of Shu Han. Excellent. Right. Go get him. Okay, no. I guess we'll stand on the edge of his movement range. There we go. Uh, Cao Pi has leveled up. Uh, you are at court right now. Cao Pi. <laughs> He's far too happy. Look at him. What the hell is Liu Dai doing? Oh, he's because he's on an, an assignment, isn't he? Line of sight. Building upkeep for a commandery. No. You already have that. Administered commandery. No. Fire arrows and night battles. 25% redeployment cost for faction A. Sure. There you go. Have that. This is romance, not records. I didn't uh, want to ask my Discord which one to do because there was very few people on my Discord that were as hyped for this game as I was and they probably wouldn't have understood what the difference was. So I just defaulted to romance on the voting for the first season. Um, I'm, I will do records at some point. Um, we've got a reform to pick. What does that unlock? Paddy fields. No thanks. Trade influence. No thanks. Uh, an extra spy position. Or reduced character salary and satisfaction for strategists. I think we'll get the Handbook of Excellence. You must aspire to be the best version of yourself possible, and that version is this list. No other list will suffice. Only this one. Don't know why I was almost doing my uh, Vampire Counts voice there. Uh, we have 13,000 
monies. We can also upgrade our Confucian Temple to a Grand Temple of Confucius, which gives us an extra 8 public order in Chun, which we are doing. Uh, Yangzhou. Yeah, you guys are only happy because of... Ah, you are only happy because of Liu Dai's um, assignment. But if I upgrade the city, I'll get another building slot and I can put a Confucian Shrine in there. Okay, there we go. That's what we're doing. Uh, Guangling. They have a Confucian Shrine. Uh, we will get them temporary labor housing. And that's most of... Oh no, we can still do Janya. Or Janya. Janya. We can afford the food loss to switch that to a harbor trader, so we're going to do that. Right. That is the end of Spring 2.13, and I haven't saved for a little while, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm actually going to delete these older saves from when it was being weird. And then we will overwrite that one. There we go. And enter. Be yourself if you wish, but in doing so, be the best version of yourself that is possible. Hello, Liu Kong. Or Liu Tsong, sorry. Not Kong. Old habits die hard sometimes. You would like to buy a stone archer for a ridiculous sum of money. And I think you are an idiot. And actually, I'm making enough money that I don't need to do this. Hmm. But at the same time, doing it would endear him towards me and away from Liu Bei. And it is only plus four instinct and plus four satisfaction. Yeah, why not? Son, half of them are hoarders. Like, the amount of them are like, can I buy all your pointless crap? Like, uh, yeah? How much do you want to pay for it? Um, I'll just take the car. It's fine. Okay, Huang Zhu killed the army up there, but it basically cost him his own army. Feel like Huang Zhu has not read The Art of War. <laughs> Lu Bu signed a peace treaty with Han's Wei. The Duchy of Qi commanded the Han Empire to declare war on Lu Bu. We gained a labor recruiter. Ooh. Um, there's only one administrator right now, and that's Lady Bien. However... She actually doesn't have a follower, so she can have the labor recruiter. And Xu Miao has become a general for Liu Bei. Right, he's knackered. And what's the garrison down here? Not amazing. Liu Qi is the administrator. Mm. Oh, that's fine. He can get there. Give me Cao Run. And move Cao Run to there. And then we'll grab Cao Cao. And attack Huang Zhu, who will run away like a coward. Okay. A large town. I don't think this has got walls. In fact, there's no walls on the map. <gasps> oh my god. You're dead. Emperor Penguin, you should have seen what Liu Yao did to me earlier. Like, I'll show you on the map, but it's even less... It, you still... You had to see it to believe it, but... Uh, we will 
loot and occupy because I'm not really bothered about the size of the settlement. Because it's isolated, I might end up trading it away. Liu Chi killed in battle. Uh, and then we will. Well, we can't get to him anyway just yet, so. Just move Tao Run around there. So yeah, um, Liu Yao, right? Liu Yao had just taken Guangling Port off me, right? And I'd just taken Jan Ye off him. I had a general over here and a general like here that were both going to get him. Tao Tao took Jan Ye. And I was like, well, I'll send Tao Tao to help. But it was quicker to put Tao Tao on the river. So I moved him down to about here. Maybe here. He wasn't past this crossing, right? Liu Qi, not Liu Qi, Liu Yao jumped on his boats, sailed all the way down the river and attacked me. I withdrew to about here. He sailed all the way down the river again and attacked me again. Defeated me in a delegated naval battle because you can't fight them. And then this is the bit that really kicked me in the teeth. After that, he sailed all the way back to Guangling. And I was just like, what's he got? A speedboat. How has he done that? Crazy. So, I don't know. Maybe that was a glitch. Uh, maybe it wasn't. Maybe he's just that fast. 